children are really being raped and sodomized uh, as early as the lowest age I've ever seen is nine months. Nine months? Yeah, what? nine months a child was a baby girl who was raped and the child was completely so destroyed. Her private parts, you know, joined together with the, with the Eno. So it's so painful. Where are you going? Yeah. Nine months. Yes. When you are sober, you are able to think that. But there are men who have a, a mindset, but mostly it is something that you may have watched mm -hmm. or read. You know, there are books that people read, and they are told that if you want to remove a bad omen, if you want to get good luck, you know, cultic books, they are told that when you have sex with a child who is innocent, who has never had sex, there are many things that can go. Even there are, there are, there are cowards that teach that if you have a, a sickness that is terminal and you want to eliminate out of your life, you need to have sex with a child who has never, a small child who is less than even five years. Thank you again for joining us for Naked Not Ashamed show. Uh, to our question today, the question is asking that um, a last name will help us go through it. My name is So and So. I've been married for the last five years and we've been having issues with the sex with my wife, who is always against having sex. It began right after our honeymoon, whereby we still one week without having sex. We've tried to go through healing process and we discovered that my wife was raped by her own father at the age of seven. Mm. Mm. But I never believed it because I don't believe a man can sleep with a seven-year-old child. Is it true or she's just trying to avoid having sex with me? Hey. So sad. This seven, seven years old. How? How? You know, most of the topics when we discuss them, you come in with energy. But when it comes to issues that involve children Minor. and sexual offense, yes, you can even lack words. You feel, as a mother or as a person who is concerned for those mm -hmm. little lives, you tend to imagine this is an innocent person who probably doesn't even know what it, it is, what is entailed in the sex and the whole process. Yeah. And now they have to do So maybe I, I'll say that, number one, I think every person they get married, they always look forward to that sex, mm. both the wife and the husband. When you get married, you always look forward to that day you'll have sex in your marriage. Mm. So you find that now you get married and it's one week and the wife is trying to avoid. I tend to believe this lady because it's not normal. And if she went through raping at the age of seven, it must have been a very traumatic experience mm. that is still For disturbing her. until her now. Yeah. So, a question is then a question. What will a man see on a seven-year-old and at the man's age? Does such biological. things happen? Maybe you've been, you've been in this field for a long time. Have you encountered such cases or this is a new one? Have you, my dear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very sad. Yes. But it is happening. It's important for you to know that children are really being raped and sodomized uh, as early as the lowest age I've ever seen is nine months. Nine months? Yeah. What? Nine months a child was a baby girl who was raped. And the child was completely so destroyed. Her private parts, you know, joined together with the, with the Eno. So it's so painful. Where are you going? Yeah. Nine months? Yes. When you are sober, you are able to think that. But there are men who have a, a mindset, but mostly it is something yeah. that you may have watched mm -hmm. or read. You know, there are books that people read, and they are told that if you want to remove a bad omen, if you want to get good luck, you know, cultic books, they are told that when you have sex with a child who is innocent, who has never had sex, there are many things that can go. Even there are, there are, there are cowards that teach that if you have a, a sickness that is terminal and you want to eliminate out of your life, you need to have sex with a child who has never, a small child who is less than even five years. So there is a lot of evil it's taking place. I remember yeah. there was a time there used to be this circulating mind that when somebody is HIV positive, they defile a minor and it reduces the Makali Ayo, 
ugonjwa. Mm -hmm. the, the pants of the of the virus goes down. The viral load it reduces when you defile a minor, you get sexually interact with the minor, which is quite selfish and extreme and weird, it's not the truth. It is so weird, yeah. actually. It's not the truth. Yeah. You take somebody's life to sustain your life. Mm. Mm. So you are manifesting that child. Mm. You're taking someone's life, literally. Thank they're you. taking the innocence of this mm. baby, their destiny, their life. Because Very true. put a lot of virus in the person. So these people actually they're they're mm, they're uh, off, they're dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually a problem. It's a mental disorder. Mm -hmm. It's a mental disorder because this person is not normal. Because in the normal circumstance, you even th th you, you even thrill, you you even dread. You don't want to be associated with something like that. Yeah. You can imagine what we are just feeling, and it's not our daughter, it's not our son. Mm -hmm. You can tell your conscience is telling you that's a no go zone. Mm -hmm. And I think this is something that we need to also teach our children, especially the baby child. If you are there, you are a mother, you are you are a father, and you have sons. Mm -hmm. You need to teach your sons as early as possible mm -hmm. to know that uh, they are supposed not to rape in a woman, whether a small girl, whether a big person, because rape has its own consequences. Mm. You can imagine the cry, you can imagine the groaning mm -hmm. from this small girl, mm -hmm. because those are people who have, even their private parts have not developed. Mm -hmm. They are not fully developed, and you have traumatized this. I don't know why men tend to think that when they do this to a child, uh, though you are the father, they will forget. But is that me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, that's what they, most of them think. If I do it to, with my daughter, she's, she's more, very small. And she will never remember. And she will never remember. It's like you are dealing mm -hmm. with a toy. You know, it's like you are dealing with like a robot, that's daughter. So and that's not true. Because anything, even you, you can remember something that was done to you negatively or positively by someone when you are less than five years. Mm. So there's a lot of uh, children molestations that is taking uh, and, and abuse, sexual abuse, a lot of children being really mm. raped right, left, center. Mm. And I think it's because of moral decay, people watching pornography, people watching bestiality, mm. you know, watching all these things that are just to our access to mm. our phones. Mm. So you're finding most human beings have now become more like animals, mm. you know. And there are all these causes because number one, when you come from a dysfunctional family where your mother and your father there's no peace at for home mm. for them, the, the children don't have a good environment for them to grow mm. emotionally, psychologically, even spiritually mm. when they are whole. You find such an environment, uh, sexual abuse comes in because mm. most of the times if a mother is chased away and the father has to go to his work so the neighbors may take advantage of these children. Mm. So broken homes and that's why we are really against divorce yeah, and separation. Exactly. And if it is good to begin right mm. when you are a youth, marry mm. someone whom you are so sure that they, you know you have the same belief system, mm. you have the same values, you people fear the Lord. Mm. This thing is a great uh, the foundation of your marriage is very important. Mm. Don't just be driven by sex that you just want to marry a beautiful woman a man with a six pack. Those are not things that really, because you, if you start your, your, your marriage on a wrong foundation, mm. you will find that at the end of the day you are not able to stay together. And when you are not able to stay together, the people that suffer most are the children and they are innocent. Mm. They don't even know where you met. They don't even know where you loved each other or you hated one another. Mm. So dysfunction of families is one of the ways where these children find themselves now vulnerable and the enemy is able to take advantage of it. Mm. You find most of them even when there is no good communication even with, 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 with the children, with the parent. These children even when they are molested or they are sexually abused, they are not mm. able to speak out. They keep quiet because they see mom is stressed, dad also comes with distress and they wonder, will I add mom more stress? If I tell him that dad is doing one, two, two three, mm. or the, the brother, the sister is also taking advantage sexually, mm. will I add my mom? You know, children also don't want to put too much pressure to their children. Mm. Though they are young, they're able to tell when we are stressed. Mm. So those are the causes sometimes when you come from a dysfunctional family, where there is a lot of, um, the mother keeps going home and coming back, mm. carrying the children and some being left. Mm. That kind of environment, you know, people, the predators, are able to look and see this is an opportunity for me to to strike and that's why you're finding so many children are really being sexually molested when there is also you know children watching or parents watching pornography as we have said mm -hmm. sexual perversion me i would call it sexual abuse in children is actually a serious perversion it's a serious and very painful it's a toxic mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. because i think it needs also to be 
amplified well enough. Mm -hmm. We need to just have people who are coming up strongly to speak because me, I feel like just these sexual offenders really need to be seriously apprehended. That is one thing because you are cutting off somebody's future. And I'm talking over dysfunctionality mm. of a home. These children really need to. We really, I, I think, like a society, they might need for a rescue space mm -hmm. whereby these children, for example, when they are growing up in a, in a, let's say, in a very test environment, mom going, there is a safe space that or safe uh, exit for them for to, to settle mm -hmm. for a while because you find that even when the parents conflict a lot, they fight more often. These children, they will develop traumas. Mm. They find their classwork, they go down, they become, they turn out to yeah. be very bad bullies. Mm. They, some of them even find themselves into, they, they, they molest other kids mm -hmm. unknowingly. Mm. So you are, you are already determining the future of your child when you constantly, that's why I pray so much that may God give peace and grace to homes. Because this thing is going deeper, yeah. because it will be carried forward to their children as well. Mm -hmm. They are wounded, their children, children will be wounded. That's so very true. if there can be rescue, mm. just rescue, and I think it can be mended on the top by parents. And also, another thing, a loophole that maybe mm. we could be ignoring, if you are raising girls or you have a children, but you keep bringing in new people into the space of mm. your family, mm. or in the lala na you share the bed, because you find most of the rentals, they are either three bedroom, mm. two bedroom, or one bedroom. Mm. So you are like, share the bed with your aunt, no, the kid is two years, mm. probably they can't express much. Mm. During the night, something happens and they will never say it. Before you realize the kid is sexually active, something happened back then which you never addressed. Mm. So I think we need to be very, mom said something that I, I picked. Mm. You look with your ears and you see with the, <laughs> that is how she puts it. You listen with your eyes and yes. you look with it. And here with your peers, that is it. Mm -hmm. We don't need to bring people sharing beds with our children if we are not. Maybe by the way, me, I'm always, I'm, I always put my third eye very alert mm -hmm. anywhere. I, even amongst themselves, I must be very, you, you can't just, you know, parents can be very naive mm. and so trusting. They come back at, at me, you are little daughter and, and the uncle, and maybe you haven't grown with that. Mm. You've, talk, you've talked about apprehending these people who, who, who commit such felonies. Mm. Yes. There's a case we were handling sometimes back, yes. 20, last year, 20, 2023, mm. yeah, last year. And in this case, mm -hmm. it's the, the mother left, mm -hmm. and the father was also remained with the daughter, mm -hmm. who was around, around nine years. Mm -hmm. And this father began molesting this child. Mm -hmm. So by the time it was discovered by this called the Community Health uh, Volunteer, the CHVs, the daughter had developed wounds and, and herbs, uh, things, uh, like yeah, herbs. things like herbs mm -hmm. through the thigh area. It was so ugly. So she was taken to the hospital and she could not say who did it. She was saying uh, somebody else, somebody else. So they were trying to ask the, the father and the father was like, I have never known this. So everybody knew that the father was innocent. The, so the question of involving the father was out. So they knew it was somebody else in the village. Mm. So they began investigating. So at night, when this daughter was in the hospital, the father was guarding the, the daughter. The father was found sleeping the dragon in the hospital now. That's now when he was caught and handed uh, sleeping with the daughter. My goodness. So when this was brought to the clan so that this man would be arrested. He's not even fearing the sickness. Mm, yeah. The mother was called and the mother was told, you cannot take this thing outside. Number one, you are the mistake. They began blaming the, the, the wife. You are the mistake of leaving your daughter behind. And then now you want to, to say that it's your husband, how will the name of your husband come out? So everybody in the family did what sheltered the husband. And who suffered the a long last is the baby. So the they, they cannot arrest this child, the, the, this man again. And then it's so sad whereby the people you trust the most, because you see when a child is growing, the only person you trust is the father and the mother. Mm -hmm. The people you trust the most are the one now coming and doing such thing to you. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for this child to trust any other person in their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know how this can I, be done. I also think like mothers have a huge responsibility in shielding mm -hmm. their children. Mother 
others we carry a very me i don't take things like oh i just take things like that even taking things to shagwati they are going to live with your mother for a whole holiday and you are not there your mother will be busy in the farm your father will be busy in the farm the uncles some of them the most responsible ones might be busy the kids will be, will be roaming with their the second second cousins and church members whom you don't even know nowadays homes are dysfunctional they are being introduced me some to drugs some they are being touched their private parts so you don't keep your children in spaces where you cannot monitor them that is one thing wow. secondly mm. if you are married to a toxic husband huh? mm. it is so selfish you to to rescue yourself as a mom mm. and you leave your daughters behind mm. yeah mm. if you're married to a toxic man and maybe you have to exit for a while carry your children Mm. Carry your children, go and drink water and eat guava with them, but at least they will be safe with mm -hmm. you. Because I'm very sure mm -hmm. no mother will molest their daughter or their son. Mm -hmm. But if the person has been molesting you as a wife, beating you, probably they are doing the bang mm -hmm. and such like things and watching all those junky things. Even if they don't molest them, they will expose them to a very toxic, toxic environment. Mm -hmm. They could bring their, their sexual partners home or they could expose them to videos that are very funny. I, 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 saw, I saw this happening in our home mm -hmm. when my parents uh, separated. Yes. Mm -hmm. My mother went away with all girls. Mm -hmm. She took all the girls. She took, She's all, wise. she took all the girls from the first ball to the last ball and went away with them. I left the boys with the father. Mm. Maybe she was doing that knowingly or unknowingly, mm. but I think it's a very important state, step. Mm. If you discover that you have a husband who cannot stand you, mm. as a woman, as a woman mm. this is a man you can't stay with in the yes. same house. Mm. Yes. And then you see he wants to kill you. Mm. What? What, things you, what makes you think you cannot kill the daughter? She won't so, help wow. so I think number one, number one, as the wife, if you are trying to run, seek re refuge for yourself, seek for mind your daughters. Mm. Yeah, even if you're looking at where you are going so bad, you, there's no how you provide for them. Let them die of hunger. Mm. And being killed by their fathers, no, being is, traumatized yeah, by yeah. their fathers. Even if, even if their father is is someone who you think is he can't go, that you never know this. This people. yes, uh, he, sexual abuse goes yeah. deep to the soul. It is, because it will take a lot of work. You know what I've discovered with human beings is that sometimes I tend even to think that animals are even better than us. Mm -hmm. You never find a a a, a dog climbing on a very small puppy. Mm -hmm. They can't. Mm -hmm. You'll find a dog looking for almost the age mate. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a, a, a cousin, but almost the same age Mating mate. Mating with the age mate. Uh, age mate. You'll never find a dog even or, cows. or even cows climbing on a, on a calf. Mm -hmm. They can't. But as human beings, we say that uh, we have common sense, we are made in the image of God. We are the people who are going to rape children, our own. <laughs> not, not neighbor's child. Where's my mass? own daughter. Where's mass? Then tell you what know, can I not do? I'm really finding um, our today's discussion very, very important. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, 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 I'm also quite sad mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because of that question that came. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I want a pastor to, to tell us now, this girl, she's no longer a girl, mm -hmm. she's now married. Mm -hmm. She has a family oh. and she cannot enjoy, you know, sex. Mm. And she's traumatized and all that. Mm. So how do you help this girl who was, you know, uh, abused at seven years, eight mm -hmm. years? Yes. And probably mm. she doesn't want also to disclose the same now to the husband. Mm. Because it could bring now a lot of other issues. Yeah, and, and the question, why did you not tell me? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, how do you help such kind of a woman? I, because now she's now a woman. I yeah. think the first thing mm. is to look for a counselor. Mm. Uh, someone who can be able to help your wife, who can be able to help you. You the woman, you who is the victim. You need to seek help. Okay. Because number one, already, mm. You are in a quagmire. You are in a situation you cannot help yourself. So what do you do? You need to get someone who can get into your circle mm -hmm. and help you out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you may not help yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you are not very careful, this can lead you to depression and later on to suicide. You will also find mm -hmm. uh, children who are in blended family, mm -hmm. you know, raping each other. Mm -hmm or even having sex with one another. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful. If you married with a daughter, you will find that the foster father wants to take advantage of her. Mm -hmm. So it's like you are two wives. Mm -hmm. Or you found wow. a family, you came with your children, and the other person also had children. You see now, they have no, for them, they have no blood relation. Mm -hmm. So they, they are likely to rape each other, they are likely to have sex with one another. 
that, that's one of and the things that in yeah it, it 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 brings it can bring even rape mm -hmm. because now they feel like they are obligated to sleep with their sisters and their brothers because they know they are not blood related mm -hmm. and so rape can also come in blooded families mm -hmm. and that's why you have to your eye must be mm -hmm. very open and your ear to know is there anything that is going fishy mm -hmm. and make sure that you create a report and keep on reminding them that it is not possible for them to have sex because you are, you and the father are now one mm -hmm. you know also mm -hmm. you will also find families whereby there are children who are disabled mm -hmm. are also very vulnerable mm -hmm. to being raped mm -hmm. because this disabled child who is maybe has a is not okay has autism mm -hmm. serious mm -hmm. severe autism or has a disability mm -hmm. they are seriously taken advantage of by the caregivers because they need help yeah because they need help you have to, everything mm -hmm. they have to depend on someone mm -hmm you get that mm. and that's why you find not many will look for even when you have a, a disabled child who is a baby boy you would prefer having a mother figure in their lives as you have said it's very hard to find women who can take advantage of women sexually unless there's something that is uh, triggering them there's a trigger there's something they are watching or listening mm. that triggers them so it's also disability you will find so many disabled children you think of made women who are having children in the streets and you wonder this woman mm. is a mad woman Who's but she keeps getting children has over 10 on children on the streets actually yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. and not that they sleep with other men, mad women no, no the normal men take advantage of her a mad this, 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 mm. this thing goes back to man mm. men fathers. men fathers because you find that we, we, we said in other episode that when you see your marriage is falling or mm. failing we trace back to the husband who is mm. the head of the family when a company is performing poor and we go back to the manager mm, the ceo yeah. also this thing whereby you find that cases of being raped it's always men play playing the roles mm. we talk about prostitutes are on the streets these prostitutes they somewhere she was hurt by a man mm -hmm. somewhere either father or relative or just a friend we saw that women said that oh i, I can't marry again she mm. was broken by a man somewhere mm. although some men are being hurt but i think it's just because we've left our the our biggest experience. percentage you would mm. say like it's almost 85 percent mm. men plays a very important role yeah. for the well-being of the society. When we talk about sodomy, mm. it's still man and child. When talk about now. being raped, it's a man and a daughter. By the way, I've not heard whereby now a mother, I've not heard whereby a mother uh -huh. raped a, a son mm -hmm. or a mother or, or even me being raped by my wife. Mm. I, 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 how would she rape me unless I erect? Thank you. And erecting is, is my will. It's your will. <laughs> uh, when, when, I, when I erect, I say, okay, come on. Yes. But for a woman, whether she's wet or not, you mm. just we just penetrate. Right. And don't you think, therefore, mm. it is now very crucial? Mm. I don't know why, therefore, someone would feel like this information is not important mm. or it's too early when we talk about now sex education to the children we need mm. because without creating, mm. without creating mm. curiosity yeah. mm. because i'm trying to imagine if this uh, child mm. who was raped at seven years probably they were empowered mm. they would have probably learned away mm -hmm. or did something yes. to defend themselves oh yes and that's why now we can't keep quiet about this. No, you can't keep because quiet about Because we don't know sexuality. who is who. Mm -hmm. Your enemy could be right inside where you are living. Your brother, yes. your sister, whom you have house invited help. in your house. House help. Yeah, house, house boy. Yeah, house boy. Mm -hmm. So when we don't empower our children yes. the right way, mm -hmm. then we are exposing them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's good to become very bad. Mm. And that's why I think even what we are doing in terms yes. of even, you know, doing seminars for mm. children, for mm. teenagers, mm. Uh, you know, and, and we are saying as early as what age a child needs to be introduced to sex as education. As early as four years, because yeah. now mm -hmm. we have always said that you, the parent, mm -hmm. you're the only one who sees your daughter and your son as a child. Any other person in the community, in the estate, any in your vicinity sees your daughter and your son as a sexual partner. And most parents are naive. Mm. They think that they trust easily. They feel like Everyone no is apparent, is apparent like to your daughter, mm. to your son. No. And that's why you have to teach your children about their private parts, mm. that nobody should touch them. You should teach them about sex, why they should not have sex at, when they are children. Mm -hmm. And if someone is suggesting to them something like that, you should, you should have a very good rapport yes. with your child. Mm -hmm. Rapport such that mm. they can come and tell you, Dad, so-and-so was telling me this, Mom, so-and-so was telling me this. Mm. And you're able to take measures as early as possible. Mm. You see that. Now, but now most of the parents, they 
are saying no, they are very young. They are very young, but they are being sodomized. They are very young, but they are being raped. They are very young, but they are being they are being they are being taken advantage of. Yeah. I was talking to a daughter who, who is now in secondary school, and they found that this girl always have suicidal attempts, suicidal attempts. Kumbe, she was raped when she was three years. Mm. By who? By the brother, I think the brother or the the brother to the wife or the mother who was staying with them. Mm -hmm. And he did this severely. Uncle. Uncle. Mm -hmm. You see now. Uncle. Yeah. But to them, mm. they were calling him as their firstborn. Even they mm. used to introduce him as their firstborn. Wow. You get that. But took advantage of this girl. And she's so bitter. Now these memories keep playing in her mind. She's now depressed, taking drugs, she's not able to concentrate, and yet she's in a very good school. Mm -hmm. And the father and the mother were feeling so devastated. And they were wondering, we trusted our brother. We, trust, we trusted him with our children. Kumbe, he's the same one who became, you know, a, 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 a predator to our, to our daughter. And so these things are real parents. If you're not a victim, please don't be quick to shout and say, no, uh, uh, where are the statistics? Go on Google and see how children are getting molested on a day-to-day -day life. News. You know, people have, start, have stopped watching news. Go to the TVs and see how children are getting sexually molested, right, left, center. And so we cannot be quiet because there are people who are taking advantage of this. And when they watch these mm -hmm. pornographic materials, they want to go and practice with the children. They want to go and practice with your daughter and your son. So if your daughter and your son does not have this knowledge, they are easily going to, take, to be taken advantage of. So when we have now children also who are disabled, as we have said, families that are dysfunctional, you know, children mm -hmm. are Alone. some of them are left alone you cannot afford now to leave children playing mm -hmm. someone may come and take them mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of children trafficking mm -hmm. you get that eh? mm -hmm. that you left your children with the neighbors if there is nobody who is a guardian to watch them yes please you have to be very careful mm -hmm. days are gone when we would leave our children to play by themselves and then somebody comes with the sweets and within no time they have been put in a car and they are driven mm -hmm. and you don't know which direction to look for mm -hmm. them so we cannot afford to even leave our children to go to school in the morning by themselves. Mm. And in the morning you find a, a daughter walking for two kilometers and they are very small. Yeah. 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 Unless in the shags. I don't know whether... But in the shags. I yeah. I've, I've, I've seen this thing. I, I, I always get traumatized yes. on my own. Yes. I find very small girls. Small, small girls. Very early in the morning. At five at four. Mm. To a people. But, yeah. Or, or yeah, at, at, like about like a person that. coming to pick a daughter and then taking mm. to school. And very and early. And this How do you trust this? And you are left asleep. Yes. You are left asleep. Sleep mm -hmm. and you trust this border border person taking. I remember she told me something that, that her father used to take them to school. Yeah, uh, yeah, taking them to school in the morning. Daddy would just a moa leo. I'm cleaning and mumbele yake na muna enda and then he comes back. And wow. Then, For the sake of their safety. Understand. When my daughter, my, my kids, when we were seeing the they used to go to school very early. Mm. I will take them until they show they are now in the bus. Then I come, I go back home. Thank you. And it was not very far. I very short. I, I could never just let them walk into the road and then coming back. I would mm. never allow that. So. I don't know how you just find a parent in the blanket, parents very peaceful, and granted. kids are going to school passing very, 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 very dangerous paths and, mm. and, 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 and routes. Bushes. Bushes. Imagine. And they're going to school or even crossing this road. At a come and see uh, Mamboya raping, even yeah. accidents. Kids crossing very busy highways. Mm. The school the other side, you just let them cross and go at a day. No, it's a, it shouldn't it's, be so. We are being careless. Also, I think we are also lazy. Yeah, lazy and careless. There is a a moral degradation mm. in our society. As a society, I don't know what can be done, but maybe they're just this is just a call to awakeness. One, if there is just a way, one day it is my prayer that this company that produces porn, one day it just get disbanded <laughs> all over the world. It's not even serving the humanity. It should just be disbanded because it's the cause of many, many dark sexual offenses. Third, secondly, how I wish men would just rise up. If you are a man, you are close to a girl, you are a father, you are a brother, you are an uncle, protect that person. Yeah.